The Young Nurses in Daba Trade Union says healthcare workers have endured enough with the mountain of challenges facing the healthcare sector. Members affiliated to the union today resolved to embark on a march to the Gauteng Health Department. And our reporter Lindo Gusek Ulu is monitoring the march and he joins us now live to tell us a bit more about their demands. Lindo, um, the Young Nurses in Daba is not the only union and it's not the first time they've actually made their way to the Gauteng Health Department. What is it this time that they are complaining about? What are, they, what are their demands? Well, Masefo, it's some of the issues that we've known uh, that were playing out even last week. The issue of absorbing some of the workers, some of the health staff that was hired during COVID-19. The treatment as well as conditions, working conditions for some nurses, as well as issues such as security in some parts of uh, these facilities. We do know that there's been a lot that has been put on the spotlight when it comes to the safety of health workers. So they are saying that the issues of paying service providers sometimes leaves them unguarded that some security companies are actually not doing their jobs when they are not paid. But one of the things that I want to do, Masefo, is just to bring in someone who is part of this particular union just to give us a sense of some of the issues that play. Lerato, thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. Just explain to us what this march is all about. The march is about protecting the jobs of those people we all called heroes during COVID. These people, they abandoned their own families to take care of South Africa. Today, the very South African government, the Department of Health particularly, that sent them as heroes, cannot find a space to absorb them. Yes, they know we are struggling with serious shortage. They know that our hospitals are barely surviving. They know that we, we cannot cope at all when it comes to delivering quality health care. So we are going there and saying those who are additional staff for COVID must be absorbed in the system. EPWPs must be absorbed in the system. Community service nurses must be absorbed in the system. And security must stop being one month-on-month -month contract. And that's that. One of the things that has been mentioned with absorbing of people that were hired during COVID-19 was that first of all they were hired from a grant to actually try and, and get them to help so, alleviate pressures. But now they are saying that do not have a budget, they can only keep half of the 8,500. For two years, we have been in a state of disaster. In two years, no one has thought of looking for funds or motivating to get additional resources for a healthcare that was already in crisis, even before COVID. That cannot make sense. We are not taking that as an excuse. We are looking at it as mismanagement. We are looking at it as failure to see forward and ensuring that we, as healthcare workers, we can deliver quality healthcare to our people. And that's it. Yeah. What are the demands that you will be giving? to the health department also give us a timeline in terms of how long you'll give them to respond as well as what will happen afterwards if those demands are not met we've given them seven days to respond and in that seven days we are expecting them to give us at least short term solutions so that on the 1st of April all these so-called heroes according to them should be on those jobs and our communities must continue being serviced. We are also saying if they fail to do that we will be left with no choice but to continue in, in, in intensifying our struggle and making sure that the Department of Health is put under administration. All right, thank you so much. That is Liratom Tunzi, one of the leaders of the Young Nurses in Daba Trade Union, just giving us a sense of some of the things they will be trying to uh, give as a message to the health department. But speaking about known issues, the issue of uh, these heroes that they are saying are not absorbed in the system, and they are saying that what they will be doing is to ensure that they give them that memorandum, and after seven days, if they do not respond, they will continue with such action. I should mention, Maseko, that among some of these groups, there are other unions, you'll see such a red, a, a, a red placard just on your side, a banner there. Uh, there are some of uh, unions that have joined this particular movement, including of cleaners, EPWs, as well as security personnel that works near this health facilities, but essentially they are saying that government needs to find an answer in terms of employing all of those that had helped them during COVID-19. Right, Linda Gusekulu with those visuals from the Johannesburg CBD as those nurses, EPW workers as well as cleaners make their way to the Gauteng Health Department to march against things that they have been complaining about for several years now.